Welcome to Veritone Studios. This is how a guitar sounds. And this is how Tonewood sounds. If you're wondering why you can't hear anything, well you can, but you have to listen carefully, so have another listen. And that is how much everything contributes to the sound, apart from the guitar strings. Let me explain what you're hearing. This is a guitar I put together. It's a Telecaster. It's got two humbuckers. One is under the strings and one is not under the strings. We'll get to that in a minute. It's plugged directly into the mixing desk. There's no reverb, there's no tone knob. This is the straight up guitar sound. We've maximized tone to the max. Now at this point, you've got to bear in mind that we're talking about tone. We're not talking about sustain which is slightly different, so we'll go into that in another video. Just so you can understand how this all works, I'm gonna explain how a guitar pickup works. This is a guitar pickup. It has metal slugs in it, and they are magnetized. They're either magnetic themselves, or there's a magnet underneath. And then copper wire is wrapped round those slugs, and the start and end of that copper wire attached to two pieces of cable, your hot and your ground. Within that cable, there are tiny little electrons. And when anything metal moves across that magnetic field, those electrons wobble a little bit, and that's what you hear, that is your guitar signal. So if we go back to this guitar and we apply that knowledge, we've got two humbuckers. One is under the strings and one isn't under the strings. So when you pluck a string, the one under the strings, you can hear that because that creates a signal, those electrons move. But with this one, when you pluck the string, there is still a sound, but it's a lot quieter. That is magic. And that is how much of the tone you actually hear through the guitar. So does tone wood matter? Well, it does and it doesn't. If you're choosing a guitar based on the wood it's made from, if that's from a tonal perspective, that's probably not the right decision. But if it's from an aesthetics point of view, how it looks, you know, if it's baked maple or whatever, a piece of wood that you can see, then it definitely makes sense to choose it based on the wood it's made from. It may not add much to the tone, but it does add a tiny amount. But so does the cab you play through, the cone you choose to play through, the microphone you've got up against it, the amp head, the pedals, everything adds a tiny amount. So with that all in perspective, that gives you your sound. I know this is a tiny amount of it to the point where it's probably insignificant, but everything adds up. So does time would matter? Well, leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts because some of you may be with me in that everything adds to your tone a tiny amount. For example, the pickups, quite a lot, your amp head, quite a lot, and things like the tone would, really not much at all but let me know your thoughts and let me know what you think. If you enjoyed watching this, I've got another video on why a Gibson Les Paul and a Gibson SG sound different, and it's probably not because of why you think. And I've also got a video on how this sounds with nylon strings on it. Thank you for listening, thank you for watching.